<laughs> Welcome to my channel. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. My name is Kika, and um, today this video is going to be 100 creative self portraits or selfies or photos. Um, well, this is very unclear. This is not a good start for this video. <laughs> no, but it's going to be uh, photo ideas that you can do at home with things that you already have at home. And um, yeah, so the reason I said that it's probably going to be creative self-portraits is because most of them uh, do have some human presence in them. This is my favorite season, but unfortunately can't really go out and take photos. So trying to do the best of the situation and take some creative photos inside instead. Um, I have been using this time to be productive though. I just finished this cardigan that I've been knitting for a long time and I'm so super happy with how it turned out. But without further ado, we're just gonna jump straight into it. So grab a snack because 100 photos. Yeah, you might be here for a while, <laughs> but hopefully that's a good thing and you'll find some value in this. All right, let's start. All right, this first category is words and quotes. So there are many different ways that you can share some words of wisdom or a quote or your favorite words in a photo. You know, a picture tells more than a thousand words, but sometimes it can tell only very few chosen words. <laughs> so this is really a way to kind of narrow that in. It's also, I think, a nice time to share an uplifting message or communicate with the world and share something in a photo. So here are some different ways. Um, I just put some like cut out from paper some words that I put in a coffee cup or had a temporary tattoo. Uh, I've also done on a cassette, uh, just like stickers, printed those out, or you could uh, just use a pen, write on a box, or this one was inspired by Lost in Translation, the poster. Um, so there are many different ways that you can implement these words and quote in a photo. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I love photo prints and kind of the analog version of it. Everything is so digital, but it's, it's so different to have like the actual photo in your hand. And definitely if you make your own photos, then try to sometimes print them out and see you can use them for many different things. And then also take photos of the photos. <laughs> uh, so one idea is to do a photo collage or a wall and pose in front of that. Or then you could do a little collage on a table. So here I've just put them as a camera. That's kind of funny. Uh, and uh, this one is just, I had some fairy lights and then I just put these photos up with these little clips up there, arranged that. Um, and this one is a photo book that it was a collaboration I did. Um, so it was a photo I had taken already, but then I had the same cardigan on and it became like a really funny sort of a photo in a photo uh, concept. Uh, and then here is also from a photo book and just kind of showing it from up above and you kind of looking at your own photos becomes weirdly egocentrical, <laughs> but there's also something nice about those kind of layers piling on each other. I don't know, I like that. On Instagram, there's a huge bookstagram community with people doing like really creative photos using only books. And I've also before mentioned many ways um, using books in your photos. And especially now, I think a lot of us are turning to books and magazines and kind of reading um, up while we have this time at home. Um, so I recently did a new one, uh, a photo uh, with a book kind of like turning it upside down and <laughs> just kind of playing around with the whole idea of reading at home. Also, if you have a nice window that casts some shadows or light um, where you're reading and you can also like hide behind the book uh, in different ways. And then also one thing that definitely there's like a huge thing on Instagram uh, where you just put the books out on the floor and take a photo from up above and that kind of becomes your backdrop. Uh, it takes a while to do this, it's a little bit tedious, but it's really, really, really beautiful, I think, as a texture. And also if you yeah, are looking for stuff to do, this is definitely one of those kind of projects. <laughs> Recently, I've been really inspired by light and also I've been kind of trying to map out here in our apartment what are the best places or the best spots, like what time of day will the light or sun come in through the different windows because that changes uh, depending on the day. Now it's like shadow um, and kind of a gray day, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, but using your windows um, and especially if it takes portraits, it's really good to be close to a window because that's just where you'll get the most light and also kind of dramatic light if you stand sideways. Um, and the other day I took some photos, it was like really sunny and nice. Uh, so I dragged the whole table <laughs> next to our window. Um, also, if you have a balcony or big windows, you could, you know, get a little bit of fresh air and <laughs> stand by the window. Um, or just do a stack and hide behind that. I think there's something nice about 
also what kind of windows looking outside from the inside at the moment and kind of I don't know dreaming about freedom there's many kind of philosophical nice thoughts you could also implement in your photos next up we have some photos that are rainbow themed uh, in this one I just had a cup and with some glitter colors so made a rainbow with that it was not easy it wanted to just kind of mush out all the time <laughs> but I think the end result became quite nice I've also done um, a rainbow with some fruits and vegetables so if you have that at home or if you have a chance to do that and definitely you know clean the table before so you can still use the vegetables and fruits afterwards and eat them um, also I bought this little thing um, I think from Amazon it's like a prism so you can basically make a light rainbow it was super difficult to get this to work but it became still quite a nice photo uh, and this one is from, from before that was kind of an accident uh, I took <laughs> and then I also had when I did my birthday celebration video ideas I bought this rainbow balloon which was also I thought kind of a nice concept I'm not super happy I, I think I could have done this photo better but it's still I don't know it's still kind of a happy happy photo somehow with these colors and then this last one is like a totally quirky whimsical one <laughs> it's me riding on a popcorn unicorn because why not <laughs> and it has all these like rainbow colors in there I remember it was so greasy to clean up all these popcorn from the floor um, it was so difficult to pose and try to get that photo um, but yeah so you see rainbows is really really fun a <laughs> little thing to have in your photos and the next little thing that you can use is to make a little face in your photo so as humans we're always drawn to little faces we just identify with that but it doesn't have to be your face necessarily so if you have a little pot with a little face um, or then you could even draw a face yourself so I've done this on a cookie I also had one of these pillows that has eyelashes I thought it was super cute <laughs> to use that in a photo um, and if you want to take this up a notch so to make a creature or an animal and I've done this with well mainly using coffee beans I have to say <laughs> and kind of sugar and things that I've like petals that I found at home uh, but also with leaves and just with flowers I think it's a really nice project to do you do have to have a little bit of time and patience for this though and kind of enjoy the process as well um, but it's really one of those things that really pays off that when you kind of commit to the process and making it then take the photo takes like two to three minutes you know you just kind of snap the photo and that's it um, so if you don't enjoy that kind of stuff then maybe don't do it but if you do enjoy kind of crafting and making a little art piece and then this is definitely something that I'd recommend you to try out okay most of us are probably spending a fair amount of time <laughs> in bed um, so you know why not use your bed I think there is something very intimate and personal about your bed where you kind of sleep and you're so vulnerable um, and different ways I've used is just to have a flower bunch and kind of stuck my face <laughs> in that um, or just reading uh, I also did this kind of floral headphones uh, once that's like quite long ago this was back in Stockholm um, that I did that and this photo was the first photo that got me featured on Instagram back in the day when they had the weekend hashtag project they unfortunately don't have that anymore but um, yeah I was just very lucky to catch like Luna was there with me I had this huge ball of yarn and knitting um, in the bed and this last one is just uh, some fairy lights that I put both in the cup and I had behind I just think it makes such a nice and kind of atmosphere and mood um, to have some fairy lights in a photo now you know that the breakfast is the most important meal of the day right and now is really the perfect time to enjoy some slow mornings if you have the possibility to do that if you don't have to commute to work but you can actually really enjoy that and kind of get your own pacing for the day um, and this can be a really nice also spark some ideas to take a photo of that opportunity so um, you could do like a little picnic breakfast on the floor or just take a photo of your actual breakfast when you're you know sitting there with your coffee and you have uh, whatever you're having for breakfast um, or you can take it also up a notch and uh, this is like a watermelon that I then took the pluck the seeds out of so it looks like a little rainy cloud um, also using coffee cups uh, somebody should make a video with coffee cups idea because there's so many wait aha I did one <laughs> uh, I have a video with some coffee cup ideas so I'll link that uh, but this one is a recent one I did I put a little cherry blossom tree in there and the way you do this is there are these um, 
invisible, I was gonna say, no, free, uh, PNG. So basically kind of like a sticker. So instead of JPEG, it's called PNG, like with um, sort of transparent background. You can search these online for free. There's also apps like PixArt, um, which I've never used, but I know some people use that. Um, so you can basically put that in a photo. You will need Photoshop or then, yeah, you can use this app, PixArt, uh, for it. Uh, and then I've also, with coffee cups, done other, like some examples, this uh, coffee cup tree, which was like a huge thing I did on the floor, um, or then using cups as balloons, or if you have a nice, for example, grandma's old uh, kettle, just holding that and like putting on a blouse with a lot of kind of texture and has a mood that kind of fits with that, um, makes a really nice photo, I think. Um, also before I've used like sugar uh, and cookies to make a sky, or a ferris wheel. Is that a ferris wheel? What do you call it that? I think you call it a ferris wheel. Um, or you can also do just like a really simple one of just a coffee cup. Um, but I think, I don't know, there's something so nice about just thinking about breakfast. Makes me happy. <laughs> so that's definitely a theme that I like to kind of get inspired by and use in my photo. And again, like the Pinterest, everything, like there's so much inspiration out there uh, to soak up on. On this subject, okay, next up we have one of my absolute favorites. So like glitter, confetti, all this kind of stuff I think is so much fun. I guess because it's like, it just associates to party and who doesn't like a good party? Hmm, am I right? Uh, so here are some examples I've done with uh, glitter in a cup or then just like confetti uh, all over the place. <laughs> or also soap bubbles is a really uh, fun thing if you have that, happen to have that at home. Um, and there are many different ways you can use these kind of themes of so also uh, stars, make a little star garland. Um, yeah, it's most things that you can kind of craft at home or if you have some, you know, leftover from Christmas, uh, you can use that in photos. Okay, I know we just talked about kind of breakfast and slow mornings, but we're gonna talk more snacks <laughs> because snacks, it's a big part of life. It's important, uh, especially now. I feel like I go to the kitchen, like I normally go to the kitchen quite often after snacks, but during this time, that's probably like at least doubled, but you know, you do what you gotta do to survive. <laughs> so some ways um, in these photos is I've like stacked up. So cookies or pancakes, if I've like the few times I actually managed to bake or cook something, <laughs> but also uh, doing cookies. This is like a little moon installation I did with just some Oreo cookies. Again, here using a watermelon, but this time for an umbrella. Oh, I should make like one with like watermelon as clouds and also as an umbrella. Hmm, that would be something. Uh, <laughs> this next one was for Halloween when there was a lot of pumpkins. Here is kind of a milk, Milky Way spilled milk kind of situation. Um, this next one is Totoro, if you know Studio Ghibli, like one of my absolute favorite movies um, that I did, again, with using coffee beans. Um, and this is actually not a table. This is uh, back in my parents' house in Finland. They have a quite old bench. And when you take, like there's uh, kind of a pillow on the bench. And when you take that pillow off, uh, it has like this super nice texture. So I've used that sometimes and kind of pretend that it's a table. <laughs> Nobody will know, even though now you'll know. Um, and also just using kind of, yeah, snack time, um, using food in your photo is just like, it's organic. It's, you know, you can use it afterwards. So it's also not sort of a prop you have to buy just for the photo. It's actually also something you can use. And it's something I think many people can relate to. <laughs> and since we're talking about photos, using a camera in your photo and taking a creative selfie, either via a mirror uh, or just uh, having like, if you have an old camera. So I have this one, for example, that I, my grandfather's old, but I actually don't know if it works anymore, but I just really like that feeling of this vintage camera. Um, so then I'm just taking it with my normal camera. Um, and also I did this one with some leaves, to kind of make like a camera out of leaves and then with these photo prints next to it. So there are many things that you can get inspired by just like the whole kind of act of taking photos itself. And here, next one, if you have pets, then Okay, they say that you should never work with animals or children in show business, and it's definitely true. Like, if I plan to do a photo with uh, Luna and Bella, it never works. But then sometimes when I'm sitting up for a photo, they will come and they'll be curious and I have some treats for them. They really like these called dreamies. If you have cats, then I can recommend those. These are at least like, if I just open the bag, they'll like come running. Um, so yeah, this is just something fun uh, that you can try to snap a photo of a pet if you have them around and if they're willing to collaborate, which most likely if there are cats, they aren't. <laughs> 
Okay, these are some of, I would call like Kika classics. So this first one is to put some flowers in your sleeves and just taking a photo of your hands. I don't know, it's like a very classic one. You've seen probably it on Instagram or Pinterest, many people doing it, but it just works because I think it's so, there's something very calming, like almost poetical about it, which is why I think it works so well. Uh, this next one is just a butterfly sticker that I picked up from like a craft book uh, or craft store. I think it's meant for scrapbooking. Uh, and this one is a frozen flower piece. <laughs> um, I've showed you before how I've done that um, in another video and I have a hashtag uh, my frosty florals also on Instagram. So if you want to see some creations of other people, there's so many, so many nice ones up there. Uh, and then this last one is just like a little bit breakfast moment. Ooh, this one came out. Mm, that's nice. Uh, okay, the next one. Um, a few years back on Instagram, there was a hashtag called my botanical bath or something along those lines. And this is a photo I did uh, a few years back <laughs> uh, in Portugal. And so basically what people would do would just be to put some flowers in their bathtub or either and either be in it or in their sink. Um, we don't really have like any natural light in our bathroom here, so I can't really do this here. Um, but <laughs> then I've also done this fourth perspective one with a little kind of cupcake uh, on my head because why not? <laughs> um, so yeah, but if you have like an aesthetic looking uh, bathroom, then yeah, you can use that also for a photo shoot, even though it's maybe not the most sort of um, obvious place to do photos. Okay, and next one, uh, probably one of the things that I get most inspired by is outfits and the things that I actually wear in the photo, like all the colors, textures and shapes, they just tell so much and kind of really set the tone and the mood for the photo. Um, so this one, for example, was a shirt I have with these flowers on and then I had these flowers that I put in my shirt, so it's kind of like they're bursting out. Uh, so that was very much inspired by just the shirt itself. Uh, and then this is kind of laundry, like ballerina doing her laundry or also a really fun way to hide in the photo but still being visible. <laughs> also this one, um, which kind of I realized I look like a raspberry mascot for some, you know, yogurt commercial. <laughs> and this photo is from back in the day when I wanted to try to do these more kind of photo shoot editorial ones. And in this one, I took two photos of me wearing, I had the same dress, one white and one red one. And then I would take like two photos and then I just printed out those photos, cut them up uh, and made like a stripy dress out of it instead, which I thought was pretty clever, uh, I have to say. <laughs> and then also other ways I do done like sushi laundry. So you could fold your clothes into some kind of shapes. You could also do uh, like flowers, for example. And then one of my all time favorites is like stacking uh, my knits up. Uh, so if you have some clothes and here really be mindful about the colors and it's a little bit of a uh, tricky thing to kind of, if you want to hold them yourself. So if you have somebody to help you or if you have self timer, um, just like try to put the stack, make the stack first. Uh, so you're kind of ready with it um, and try to get the photo with them. And the last idea is to take a photo of your journal. So if you like to bullet journal or if you have like a creative journal, just taking a photo of that uh, or yeah, if you have some artwork, uh, that's also like a really nice uh, thing to put in a photo. Whew. Wow, a hundred. That felt like I'm really dry in my throat at the moment. <laughs> felt like I talked a lot. I hope this was interesting for you and that you got some ideas. I know it can be overwhelming, like 100 is a lot, but just like if there was one that kind of you felt like, ooh, like, mm, like something happened in you, then choose that one. And I also like to say like, sometimes it's if you have too many ideas or also if you don't have any ideas, it can be very like just difficult to choose or like know where to start. But the thing I often uh, try to think of is what is the kind of lowest hanging fruit? What is the easiest one? Um, so I can just get going and then the kind of things and you know, the ideas will come, but if you feel like, oh, I don't know what to do, like just take the one that feels easiest to you and that you immediately think like, oh, but I could do that in my bedroom or, you know, oh, but I have a nice table. I could take a photo of my breakfast. Like just make it easy for yourself. Then it will, yeah, will be much more fun and the results will also probably be better that way. 
And if you do take uh, some photos, then please uh, use the hashtag create with Kika so I can see it over on Instagram. We started this uh, hashtag create with Kika so you can tag me and uh, put that hashtag under your photo so I can see it. There's so many beautiful entries there already. Uh, it makes me so happy to see. It's like so surreal to me uh, also that actually like you actually get inspired by these ideas. It just means so much and it feels like it's, you know, like I'm, I'm here in my own kind of universe doing these photos. So actually seeing it resonate with you, it just makes me so happy and it really gives me a lot of energy. Uh, so thank you for that. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and that you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you back here soon again. Thank you so much for watching. All right, take care. Bye. Hello, there's a bee in my bonnet. Hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet. Hello.